Hi everyone, this is Marianne and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to have a video that's a little bit different from my usual content because I wanted to make an updated video about skincare products that I use now. My previous video was in December 2017 and I will link that down below. Of course, things have already changed since then, but one thing that has not changed is the Foreo Luna 2. I have this in the model that's meant for combination skin. I do have an unboxing of this and I will link it down below. And this is the exact same device which I purchased sometime in 2016. It still works perfectly well. It just looks older and more worn and there's some residue from cleanser down here on the bottom bristles that I have tried cleaning off but I could not get it off. There is also some residue of cleanser down here and it is stuck. I could not remove it. I always store this Foreo Luna 2 upright on a shelf in the bathroom. And sometimes the water that's left on the device after I use it rolls down and stays a bit at the bottom before completely evaporating eventually. So that explains the residue. The charging port is right here at the back. It still charges fine. The Foreo Luna is made of medical grade silicone that repels bacteria and mold. So whatever is on here is really just residue of cleanser. There is nothing here that can irritate my skin. If you have a Foreo Luna and you have had to clean it after several years of use, please let me know in the comments how you did it. So for the morning routine, I use this Foreo Luna 2 and this cleanser, the L'Oreal Revitalift Cleansing Foam. After cleansing my face in the bathroom, of course, I move to my bedroom and I use this L'Oreal Revitalift Aqua Milky Toner that has Pro Retinol. I really like this. It makes my skin feel plump and bouncy. And to apply the toner, I use these cotton rounds, which are my favorite. After toner, I wait about a minute and then I spray my face with distilled water that I put inside this spray bottle because the advice is that you should put moisturizer on damp skin, right? So to make my skin damp, I spray it with distilled water. I just get the large bottle of distilled water from the grocery store and pour from that into the smaller spray bottle as needed. And then when my face is damp, I put on a layer of this Lux Organics Aloe Vera Gel. I really, really like this. And it is a clear gel, as you can see. You can use this all over your body and even on your hair and your scalp, but I mostly use this for my face. This product has no alcohol, which I really appreciate. And because I do not feel comfortable dipping my hands into this jar every single time, I have transferred some of the gel into this pump bottle here. And this pump bottle is what I use every single time. The original jar is kept closed. Next, I put on a layer of this Lux Organics Hyaluron Gel. This has hyaluronic acid, pantothenic acid, and ceramides. And it also has no alcohol. This has a white color and uh, the consistency is a little bit squiggly. And I also transferred some into this pump bottle so that I can keep the original jar closed to prevent evaporation and contamination from the other skincare products that are left on my hands after all of the layering. And then if I ever have to go out and the UV index is not yet 1.0, I put on this sunscreen on top of everything. This is the Vaseline Daily Sun Cream with SPF 50 and PA++++. I really like this sunscreen a lot. It is very nice to put on. It does not leave a white cast and it has a moist, dewy finish. I believe it is a hybrid sunscreen. It is a combination of chemical and 
mineral and it also has tocopherol in it which is an antioxidant so I get to prevent oxidative stress with this sunscreen as well. This tube here is always on my desk at home and I have another tube inside my bag all the time because we need to reapply sunscreen every two hours specifically one-fourth teaspoon on the face every two hours. And for lip care, I use this Vaseline Lip Care in Rosy Pink. And that is all the skincare products that I use for my morning routine and during the day. Now for the evening skincare routine, I use this Garnier Micellar Water with Vitamin C. Regardless of whether I wore sunscreen or not, this is very, very mild and I really like it. And of course, I use it with the cotton rounds. And then it is always a double cleanse in the evening with a L'Oreal Revitalift Cleanser and the Ferreo Luna 2. And then toner follows as usual. And then again, the spray of distilled water. What's different with the evening is that after the distilled water spray, I use this L'Oreal Revitalift Night Cream with Pro Retinol A. I have been using this for a while. This is, I think, this is my third jar. But recently I have decided to try out something new when it comes to retinol. I have done my research, considered all of the good options out there, considered what was available to me and within my budget, and finally decided on the CeraVe Resurfacing Retinol Serum which comes in a pump bottle. This one has 30 milliliters. Now this L'Oreal Revitalift Retinol is almost used up completely. I am just finishing this up and then I will move to the CeraVe. After the retinol step, I put on a layer of the aloe vera gel and then a layer of the hyaluron gel. And then the final layer for nighttime is the Nivea cream which has been a well-loved skincare classic for many decades. I have this big plastic jar right here but I also have the one in the classic tin can. And the lip care for night is the same, the Vaseline lip care in rosy pink. And that is it! Very simple. These are the skincare products that I use every single day for morning and night. Now every once in a while I do the slugging thing and for that I use the classic Vaseline petroleum jelly. I do not slug very often, not even every week, maybe just twice a month if I feel that I have to have extra care that I need to occlude my skincare for maximum effect. But remember that we are not supposed to occlude our retinol. So when I do slug, I just skip the retinol. And that is it. That is all the skincare products that I use for morning and night. It is quite simple actually because so many women have like 15, 30, 50 steps to their daily skincare. <laughs> Look it up on YouTube. They are fascinating. But with me, these are okay for now. And that is my video for you today. Thanks for watching. Bye.